Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new, it's your girl Mrs and I'm back with another video. So today darlings, we are going to get glammed, we are going to get glammed because it is that time of the month where it is a love season. Some people are here for Valentine's, some people don't give a crap about Valentine's. I don't really care for Valentine's, regardless if I was in a relationship or not, but I thought to do a glam get ready with me. But before we get into it, make sure you do subscribe. I post three videos a week on Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays with a mixture of lifestyle vlogs and makeup, so make sure you subscribe, put your post notifications on and join the Silas crew. Ugh. I thought to show you guys a few dresses that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing just to give you guys some inspirations or some ideas for anyone that's struggling to look for some outfits for Valentine's so before we get into the makeup I'm gonna insert a clip of a little mini try and haul and then we can get on to the beat so this is the black satin halter neck wrap bodycon dress in a size 12 wait a minute oh my god what the earth Oh, I think it is a dress, you know. <laughs> okay, let me try and put this on. Okay, so this is the outfit. I'm not too sure if my nips are showing, so I'm going to do this. Um, I don't really like it, you know. I mean, it looks good. I like it on the model, but it's very fidgety, if that makes sense, like to tie up the thing around your neck. And then when you wrap it, there's like two buttons here that you have to hook it together. It's like very short for me. Don't get me wrong, it's nice, but I feel like I'm just wearing like a little nighty dress. Right, so I ordered another wrapped dress. This is a shaped burgundy satin wrap dress in inter size 12. Oh, I love this colour. Oh, oh, this looks a bit nice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is dress number two. I really, really like this dress. I absolutely love the colour. I love the way it fits. It feels more secure. And it needs to be ironed. Um, this is the type of dress that would definitely get creased very easily because it's that satin material. But I like it. And I think you can adjust the straps as well. Okay, so this dress, I didn't really choose it for Valentine's, but I really like the dress. Front open sleeve wrapped dress in a size 12. Okay, so this is the dress. Um, I didn't really tie up the sleeves properly, but you guys, you know, get the gist. I absolutely love this dress. Like, the colour is beautiful. I love the open sleeves. I love the way it's wrapped. It feels really nice. <gasps> I actually really, really like this dress. The only thing is, is that I feel it's a little bit too short. Okay, so lastly, I've got a nude dress. And this is, again, a satin long sleeve wrap dresses. Oh. Right, so this is the last dress. Um, this is the nude satin wrap dress. And I don't know, I'm not too sure. I love, yeah, maybe, yeah, I think I like it. I think I do like it. I guess it's just the color because I'm not used to, sorry, I've actually got a mirror over there. That's why I keep looking that way. But I guess it's the color because this is not like my usual color I go for. But for Valentine's, I'm gonna wear the red wine one because I've already got like, a theme in my head how I will do my makeup however I'm definitely gonna keep that orange wrap dress because it's really nice but um yeah apart from that these are all dresses and let's get on to the big little mini haul so even though I absolutely love the orange wrap dress I've decided to go for the burgundy wrap dress just because I thought it was just more Valentine's appropriate um, I have washed my wig so it looks a bit like full and just dry and no life and fly away but um we're gonna swipe the hair later okay babe not only i'm gonna get glam okay i'm gonna be bad and bougie at hair because i've realized that the makeup that i'm using today pretty much is all high-end makeup products which i never really tend to collect and use all my high-end makeup products in one go so i don't know who i think i am today boy but hey ho we're gonna roll with it as per usual i've done my eyebrows off camera and um i actually used an oldie 
but goodie, um, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I'm not too sure how I feel about it because believe it or not, I use a good drugstore alternative, which is the Colourpop one, and that is like five dollars, okay? Five to seven dollars, something like that. Eyeshadow, oh my gosh, guys. Who remembered this palette? The Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Listen, believe it or not, this is probably the only high-end palette I have in my collection because if you know me, you know that eyeshadow is always my least favorite part when it comes to makeup. So I don't really tend to splurge heavily on eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna apply a transition shade in my crease and I'm gonna use the burnt orange and a little bit of raw sienna. Okay, so that is the shade down. You probably can't even see it because it's literally like blended into my concealer. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this orangey shade here. I'm gonna use more of a tighter taper brush, blending brush. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into red ochre and this shade here, just to create that sort of burgundy color. Oh yes, it's coming through. It's coming through. Okay, so on the same brush, I'm actually gonna dip into the Kali Cosmetics one. I wouldn't really class this as high end. Maybe it is. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But I'm gonna add a little bit of Daris, which is like a dark plummy shade. So I added a little bit of concealer in the center of my lid, so I'm gonna go back into the Kylie one. And I think I'm gonna add some of the Santa Workshop. Right, so that is the eye semi done. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, and then we can get onto the favorite part, which is my face. Okay, so the eye makeup is done. I'm just gonna set my brows with the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel. Don't know what shade this is. Don't know, don't really care. But I feel like my eye makeup's kind of flopped. I don't know if this tone is too purple and it's not really like a proper halo halo. So I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about this eye makeup. But you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna roll with it and just hope for the best. So I'm gonna use the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. Absolutely love this primer. I've got a bit of pores here bit there, a bit there, you know. And Benefit's come up with a new primer, which is the Hydrate Primer, and get at me, um, is normal to dry combination skin. So anything to hydrate my skin, I'm all about that life. I do prefer a hydrated primer than a matte one. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade New Caldeona. Listen, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of a story, yeah? So I, I actually reviewed this foundation two years ago, pretty much around the time when it was first launched, and I cannot find my brush. I absolutely loved this foundation. Anyway now, I was pretty much living between two houses a couple of years ago, and I had like separate makeup collections in two different households. When it came to the time of me moving into my own place, for the life of me, I could not find this foundation and nothing irked my feelings more. Yeah. So when it came to like coming to terms that I've lost my foundation, I was literally heartbroken. Like nothing hurt me more. This is not cheap, you know. This is a good £35 foundation. So I was like, oh my god, like what am I gonna do? My friend, she is the shame, the shame? Uh, she is the same shade and skin type as me. So when she saw me review this foundation, she jumped on the wagon, she got the foundation, and she fell in love with it. Anyway now, she called me the other day. She was like, fam, guess what? I was like, what? She's like, best believe, yeah, I ordered the NARS foundation, and they sent it to me twice. I was like, what? Like, I've never been that lucky. I've never been lucky for a company um, to send me a product twice in error. So I was like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky, blah, 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 didn't think anything of it, whatever. Anyway, she came to my house the other day, and she's like, oh, by the way, I thought you would like this foundation, and I was just like, <laughs> okay, I didn't cry, but I was really, really happy, because I thought to myself, that is my homegirl right there, she thought of me, and she bought the foundation for me, 
and I'm very grateful. I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Concealer in the shade Amande. Again, love, love this product. As this is the season of love, I really hope I can have this conversation with you lot in the comment section below, but I've actually started to watch Love Island. I don't know how you guys feel about the contestants in Love Island. I personally think that Love Island this year is a little bit dead. Um, and I thought I was being a bit biased because obviously I only started to watch Love Island in from last year's season But a lot of people agree with me and say that yeah, like this Love Island is a little bit dead That was the Huda Beauty Tanto in the shade Rich Paige and Finley, I like them. I really like Finn. I think he's a really nice sweet boy um, To be honest, I just feel like they're just blended in the background like they're just part of furniture like no one's not really excited about that couple. Callum and Shauna, that was very typical. We, 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 it was just bound to happen that Callum was just gonna leave Shauna. I feel for Shauna because obviously she really liked him, but this is where us women go wrong. I don't know why we do this to ourselves, but we have this gut feeling, we have this strong intuition about something is about to happen. Shauna had that feeling from the get-go, and she still pursued to have this sort of mindset that there was going to be more than what there were originally all the red flags are there but then we hold on to that little hope of oh he could be the one kind of wanted the dog man he was gonna leave her anyway and skid i don't want to go about his business nas i'm not gonna lie nas kind of upset me nas did upset me because i literally thought nas was gonna be Staying with Demi, and I know a lot of people were saying, Oh, Demi that might not be genuine, she might just want to be with Nas to win the competition, blah blah. But not to be funny, but I feel like Demi is more genuine than Eva. Yeah, I just personally think that the only reasons why um, Nas went for Eva is because of the whole concept that she is more his type, the whole tanned with dark hair because when it came to recoupling he was like oh yeah me and Eva had a better connection it's like don't lie you didn't have no better connection you just can't say on national tv that Demi is just not your type she's too fair skin and redhead and you like your more tanned and brown hair type again yeah. I'm gonna set my face with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethyl Powder love this I feel like with this powder it's just got that luminosity to it like it's got some nice very mild um specs to make your face look more luminous go over my contour i'm gonna use the benefit hula bronzer in the shade toasted mike and priscilla okay Mike cracks me up. He actually makes me laugh. Listen, he was the perfect definition of how men act when their feelings get hurt. Because men are not the type of species to open up, especially when they're more emotionally invested than a woman. So when Mike obviously was pretty much dumped by Leanne, he went on reckless that boy however saying that i have to kind of give him props because at the end of the day this is love island and it is a game he was vulnerable he had to end up doing his thing you know so it was very cringy to watch i'm not gonna lie but it is what it is i'm gonna now bronze with the fenty beauty bronzer oh look at that it's just Okay, it looks a lot on camera. Jesus. Priscilla and Mike together. Oh my gosh. Do you not see their skin? The way it just beams and it glows and it glistens in the sun. All that chocolate melody. Jeez. Jeez. Mm, I think that's really it, isn't it? Shawnees. Shawnees and Luke T. Do you know what? Yeah, I couldn't stand Shawnees at the beginning of Love Island. I just thought to myself, she's got too much energy. She's too feisty. Like, just bring your energy down. Just bring it down. Just a little piece, yeah. But she's actually starting to really grow on me. And even with Luke, like, when he first came into the house, or into the villa, shall I say, the cockiness and whatever kind of put me off. I was a little bit, mmm. Because I don't really like men that are too, like, cocky and like arrogant he's actually starting to grow on me as well and the sweetest thing when shauna basically got dumped and he was like to shauna do you want a hug and i was just like oh that is so cute thanks let's test out a new product okay my friend 
she swears by Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I'm not gonna lie to you. Charlotte Tilbury makeup is expensive. But I've heard so many good reviews about this airbrush flawless skin powder and she only has three shades. My friend Kylie gave me one and she gave me the shade dark number three and a lot of people was like nah it's too muddy it's too whatever but to me that shade is actually quite light to be classed as dark apparently she uses this brush which is the morphe morphe m501 brush and then she applies it under her eye area and it's meant to oh that under eye excuse me oh my gosh that is so nice this is 35 pound though you know <laughs> i don't know if it's just me but i actually hate putting eyeshadow on my under eye my lashes even on <gasps> has my lashes been off all this time i flipping hate lashes you know absolutely <gasps> Right, so for blush, I'm going to go in with the, I have no idea what the shade is. It's from MAC. I think it's called Plum, Plum something. I definitely want to highlight, but I don't know. I'm in between these two, which actually looks very the same. Oh my God, they look the same. So this is Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Hustler Baby. And this is Champagne Pop from benefit um oh my god they actually look the same besides the fenty one is a little bit more gold so i think i'm gonna go for fenty fenty benty whoa killer what who and it's managed to give me all of that <laughs> all of that wow When your hair is freshly washed, it doesn't really hold the curls because there's like no grease or any texture to it. So I don't know why I decided to do that. But, but yeah, guys, this is the completed look. The hair, the makeup, the jewelry, the dress, all ready for the Valentine's Day. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this Get Rid of Me. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe on your way out. Put all your post notifications on because I post three times a week, hunting. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.